tree we're looking at here is in the family Phagaceae, the genus Quercus, and the specific epithet for this species is Rubra. So the full species name is Quercus Rubra. This is northern red oak, and yes, northern, even though it's part of the common name, is important in talking about this because there are, or there is, a southern red oak. Let's take a closer look at some of its features. Here you can see the bark has furrows and ridges that come down. These would be much narrower at the tip than we would see in something like bur oak or cottonwood. And the development of the fissures and the ridges takes a little bit of time. When the tree is first growing and younger trees, it would have, the bark would be fairly smooth and more of a gray in color. Here you can see a younger branch and you get a sense of what the younger tree in terms of its bark texture would be like. Similar coloring, but a little bit smoother and just starting to develop furrows. And as you see that branch attached to the main trunk, you can see the furrowing and ridges start to develop. Here you can see the leaves. Fairly typical for oak leaves to be lobed, especially most of the northern oaks. And this one has pointed tips to the lobe, which is typical of trees that are in the red oak group. And as with all of the oaks, this is alternately arranged on the twig, and you can see that here. Even though this is a slow, slower growing portion of the twig, they can, are still op, alternately excuse me, arranged in terms of where the leaves come out. Now this particular twig has started to develop the buds, which you can see right here and right here. The buds on the no northern red oak will cluster at the very ends, but there are also lateral buds that come through, a slightly rounded, and if you can, you can zoom in a little bit, you can see that these are imbricate scales or slightly overlapping. If you look closely on the twig here, you can see these little structures. These are actually developing acorns, and I saw quite a few of these developing acorns on this particular red oak, which means this will be a good mast year. A mast year is a year that a, an oak will produce an enormous amount of acorns. Mast years do not happen every year. Some years you will get very few acorns, and other years you will get an enormous amount of acorns. Just to give a sense of size for this particular red oak, we can see here's the base flared out. And as we move up the trunk, we can see that we start to develop branching. And quite quick, quickly, we lose a main trunk and the branches go out, giving it a wider or broader crown. To get a sense of the form and size of the tree, we step back a little bit, and you can see that this is what we would call a decurrent tree, meaning there is not a single stem that comes up. It branches out and develops a broad crown as the tree grows.